challenge in my life to evaluate a connoisseur in public speaking like Daniel Day, who is such a consummate speaker with a great consummate skill. But I'll do my best. Now, Daniel, this speech requires you to bring history into life, or vice versa, bring life into history. Let's analyze how well has Daniel Day achieved that objective. First of all, a historical story is fun to tell and fascinating to hear. What a know from a speaker like Daniel T. Take a look at it. <laughs> all his wrinkles, freckles, and dust clearly tells us that he is a man of great history. <laughs> Match. Yeah. So he has done a first great job. Second thing, what do we speak about? About Dr. Lassie Smedley, the founder of Joe's Masters. He shared with us so much things about the history, the development, even the personal juicy stories about. Dr. Rossi study about Francis Betty. I didn't know about all this. And he clarified all our myth and misunderstanding that the first club was in 1924. Actually, it was not true. He shared with us so many perspectives and insights of that. Thank you for the great enlightenment. As in his delivery, I can only use four statements to describe Daniel Day's speech or him. He is a master of words, an expert of actions a specialist of vocals and a man of course. Not man of course, but <laughs> man of course. You see, he uses great effective forces, which is, he has actually helped to accentuate the meaning and capture my attention. Now for this almost impeccable and immaculate great speech, I don't have much to offer for any of the Just two things. Just like any stories, any anecdotes, any fable, we need three Ds. Drama, dialogue, and description. We also need one more scene. Climax. I think a bit different from his past performances. This speech were too much of narration, too much of narrative, not much of drama. If you could probably give us mimic was of imaginary dialogues between Dr. Rossi Spedley and his boss, just like one of our members of Janet Eric Pio, remember he created some imaginary dialogues. It would actually add life to your characters. It would arouse more emotions. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing, climax. So it's like any story, we want climax. Daniel, I do not know when was the last time you reached climax. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.